morning, ESM. I'm Kyra, and today is a day four. For our first news story, 55-year-old Everton Beacon, known as a driver, driver of an MTA bus, had driven off a bridge in the Bronx last Thursday. One part of the bus had fallen 50 feet off the ramp, which caused seven passengers to suffer minor injuries. Luckily, no other parts of the bus fell off, and no other vehicles were involved. The cause of the accident was due to speeding. Beacon was able to help passengers escape and has now sustained a jaw injury. As of Saturday, Beacon has been withheld from service with help pay and refuses to take a drug test, even though he passed a brief laser test. However, he is not suspended from his job because there hasn't been an investigative process that includes a disciplinary hearing. An Amber Alert has been issued for two children from Greece, New York. Three-year-old Shakira Cash and five-year-old Dimitri Cash were abducted from an English road around 8.40 p.m. Monday night. The suspects were wearing flannel shirts and a black, and black ski mask. Police say the children were taker, taken under circumstances that could put them in serious harm. Anyone with information should call the Greece Police Department at 585-428-6666. Governor Cuomo's new budget for 2021 has been released, and with it comes many changes. This new budget includes a proposal to protect our democracy by planning, banning sorry, foreign influence companies from making contributions. Also to help combat the deficit, Cuomo is pushing for legalization of um, recre recreational plot and mobile sport betting. Cuomo is also providing services for people who are homeless, including those with mental illness. He is also putting investments to combat child poverty and put, is putting $157 million to expand the Empire State Child Tax Credit. Do you miss an episode of Spartan News? Want to stay connected? Make sure to check us out at www.esm.schools.org. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today we will have some early morning showers with some more showers in the afternoon that are more dispersed near and to the south of Syracuse. Following up Wednesday will be even more snow with a high of 27 and a low of 25. Thursday and Friday are very similar with snow with around the same highs and some pretty cold lows. The weekend will be the will be pretty it will be pretty cold with uh, with Saturday having some snow and Saturday being clear but both having some pretty cold lows. Monday next week there will be some sun and snow. I'm Grayson with your weather.
Last night, the Golden State Warriors beat the Los Angeles Lakers 115 to 113 in another Steph Curry and LeBron James Classic. Steph Curry led the Warriors in points with 26 and assists with seven. The conference championships are set for the NFL. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers play against the Green Bay Packers at 3.05 on Sunday in a long-anticipated Tom Brady versus Aaron Rodgers playoff game. Then at 6.45 that night, the Kansas City Chiefs host the Buffalo Bills in what is expected to be the big, a big offensive showdown, with the Chiefs having the number two ranked defense and the Bills having the number three ranked defense. If the Bills win, this will be the first time they reach the Super Bowl since 1994. I'm Aiden with your sports. Well, Yassam, that's all we have for you today. From me and everyone here at The Morning Show, have a great day.